kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I am going to give you a short demo of my new app, which is QR code and barcode scanner using Android Studio. So, with this app, you can easily generate your uh, QR codes and barcodes from a list, and then you can also scan them and uh, you can store them in your phone uh, internal memory and there it is okay guys so let me first of all show you the demo so here i have this app and there you can see a, a beautiful splash screen is displayed and after this they, this is the home screen and from there you can see there are four buttons scan button generate uh, gallery and history button okay so if we click on scan button so what it does is, is it will open the camera of my device and from there yeah, it will scan the QR or the barcode scanner and this uh, button is for the flash of the phone so let me first of all open the uh, QR code samples and there uh, inside this images part so now we can uh, let's just uh, scan uh, a sample image so here i have my android connected and let me focus it and there from there you can see this is the uh, link and the text from this qr code so if we go back and now if we click on history so you can see the app is maintaining the history and if you click on that so you can see copied so it is copied to the clipboard all right and also if we click on gallery so it is empty so okay so with this you can see that we can easily scan any qr or barcode scanner with this uh, feature another feature is that we can also generate our own barcode or qr code so how can we do that so let's click on generate and there you can see i have this uh, expandable uh, recycler view <coughs> sorry guys so there uh, there are two options first one is the qr code and the second one is the barcode so basically if we click on the qr code so there you can see there are three options the first one is the qr code up to 1k utf8 characters example is abc and 123 and the second one is the data matrix and it is also up to 1k and but it is in the ascii characters all right and the example is abc123 same as the qr code and also there is the a AZ tech code and it is sam uh, 1k utf8 or iso double eight five nine slash one characters example is uh, same like a b c and c so let's first of all create a qr code with this first one so click on that and there it is saying for the text so let me input a text so here we say i or i write my name is a b c d e f all right and if we click on generate so you can see that uh, the app has generated the qr code from our text here so now we can easily share them with our uh, friends and there you can see whatsapp and if i will click on it so i will be able to share it using whatsapp facebook or uh, or the other means of the share <coughs> all right and from there you can also save it so here we have saved so you can see image stored to the gallery so if we go back and click on this gallery button so you can see that we have this image and if we click on this image so now we can also share it and we can also remove it all right so let's now generate a barcode and inside this barcode you will get a lot of options so the first one is 
CODA bar. The second one is UPC A, UPC E. Then we have code 128, code 39. PDF 417, EAN 8, and EAN 13. So let's create the first one. And now, if we type any text, so let's say I uh, let's also write I am a human being. And now I will click on generate, and you can see sequential okay so it is saying that you need to have the sequential format so I will write let's say a b c d e f 1 2 3 4 5 6 and if I click on generate okay so it is saying like you need to be in this sequence a 1 2 3 4 okay so let's have <laughs> a 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so it is let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine and b okay so here i write b and now i click on generate okay so i think a one two three four five six seven eight nine b and you can see that it has generated the image so basically the problem was in the syntax so another thing let's say we have this code one two eight and now we can uh, write something and click on generate and you can see the image is generated and now if we click on save button so, so the image is now saved and now if we click on gallery so you can see the image is being shown here <coughs> all right so if i now click to remove it uh, delete it from the database so you can see file deleted and now if we click on gallery again so now the image is gone Alright, so guys, I hope that you have uh, enjoyed this short demo and if you want the app, you can send me a message. My uh, Facebook ID is, the, I will upload it in the video description. So guys, if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Goodbye.